Johnson again from the Orange Coast Laser Vision Center. Uh, we've got a new videotaping system and this is actually the first uh, videotape that I've been able to do looking through the YAG laser um, and I've got Robert here sitting with me. We're actually watching the video. This is not a live audio. We're recording this afterwards so we're sitting across from each other and watching this and uh, he has a pretty prominent floater as we can see here. A pretty dark little glob. It's got a little tail attached to it. And right now, uh, I'm not treating, I'm just uh, scanning the laser back and forth and try to get a, a good view of it. And uh, this is what they look like when we're, when we're looking into it. So Robert is here, and as uh, we're watching this video, I'm just going to ask him a couple questions. This won't be too lengthy. I just want to ask, uh, you know, a, about the floater. How did, it affect, how did it affect your vision, and uh, more importantly, maybe the quality of your life? Well, the floater came on quickly. It was a result of... Uh, uh, vitreous detachment and um, I was uh, not happy at all with it, Dr. Johnson, when it, uh, when it first came. It affected the quality of my life by being always prominent and I was uh, always looking at it and there was very few times I was not aware of it and uh, I had it about seven months. And uh, we're going to be coming up here in a moment where I actually start the treatment. But while we're waiting for that, I'll ask you another question. What was the actual treatment like? We did, it, we did the treatment yesterday. It was a relatively short treatment. Um, you know, was it uncomfortable? What was the, generally, what was the experience like? It was not uncomfortable at all. Um, uh, it was relatively quick. Um, uh, I didn't feel the lens that you put on my eye. And there was just a minor redness in my eye uh, in the evening. And the next day, today, uh, completely back to normal. Yeah, and, and we just checked your vision. It's 2015 in that eye. The eye, there's no inflammation. It really looks quite nice. Um, looking at the video here, you can see these little red lights here. Those are my focusing lights. And right now, I have it focused directly on. And there we go. That was the first shot. And you can see the, the laser is starting to break that up. Um, there are some bubbles that you'll see going upwards and as it starts to break up then I go back individually to some of the smaller pieces and start to vaporize those. Sometimes it's a uh, multi-stage process. You have to break them up into smaller pieces and such. So again, uh, this is sounds a good one. Um, always fun to watch, always fun to do. And so, uh, anyways, Robert's still here. Um, we came in today. The, uh, the vision, uh, as you described him, is much better. And one of the questions I like to ask is, well, you know, if you walked in yesterday with 100% uh, of your floaters, um, you know, what percent of your floaters is left? I mean, how much do we do we clear out, and, and how are you doing today? We cleared out 95% of it, and I'm doing much better today. It's uh, it, it's not visual in, in my vision uh, much at all. Uh, only really a little piece of it if I go out and look for it. So I'm very pleased with 95%. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with 95% too. You know, I always uh, try to under-promise and over-deliver. And I'll usually quote something like, well, you know, if we could get 60% out of there, would that be okay? Would that be acceptable? Uh, you actually had just an ideal type of floater to go after because it was so well-defined and so discreet. And there's, a, there's some other cloudier stuff kind of a, a associated with that. But uh, when I finished, I, I, I had a really good feeling that you're going to be coming in with probably over 90%. And so I'm, I'm just really delighted. Now, you came back for your follow-up. We met, we looked at the eye. The, uh, the vision was good. The pressure was normal. There's no evidence of uh, in, inflammation inside the eye. The cornea is back to normal. There's no way that any eye doctor would look at that eye and be able to tell that anything was done to it unless they had seen the, the floater beforehand. And uh, it, I, I have to say, you know, it's, it's pretty impressive. Um, and so uh, this is, you know, one of the ideal situations where we can get away with probably one treatment. In fact, uh, the intent was to come probably to probably to do another treatment, um, but we've elected not to. We've done so well, and uh, we're pretty satisfied with what we have. Um, what I did is I just edited right there to uh, a, um, a look at the iris again to, to show that it was the same iris that we started off with in case anybody accuses me of looking at another eye. Um, you see the red dot, I'm focused a little bit further back, a little bit closer to the retina so you can see more of the retinal details and the blood vessels. And I'm just scanning back and forth, I'm not doing any, any treatment uh, in this area, but I want to scan back and forth and back and forth uh, just to show how clear 
uh, that picture is, is now, and I'm scanning back and forth in different uh, quadrants. I'm asking Robert to move his eye quickly back and forth a little bit. Uh, that tends to, to move the floaters around if they're present. You know, at this point, uh, there's really not, nothing left to treat. This is really the end of the treatment, and uh, this is more for um, the viewer to, to watch and observe. And uh, it's just, uh, you know, I think anybody who's looked into an eye before, any eye doctor, ophthalmologist, optometrist who's, look, who's used to looking at eyes and saw that floater there, you know, five minutes ago and is looking at it right now, uh, would have to agree that there is just, uh, there's no floaters in there. So it's, uh, I, I'm, it's, it's pretty impressive. Anyways, uh, Robert, are there any parting messages uh, you might want to uh, tell people, anybody who uh, is listening to this, watching this, who is, uh, who has floaters, who suffers floaters, anything uh, you'd like to tell them? Well, I'd certainly recommend the treatment. Um, it's painless and it's, it's done a, an awful lot of good for me. So I'd recommend anyone who's being bothered by floaters to, to try it. I thank you so much, and uh, again, you can always get more information or contact me through my website at www.gotfloaters.com. Thank you.